So you can see um, the infrastructure for the new walls are being put in. We've got a uh, area here blown out for uh, some doorways. Uh, it appears it's going to be going into the new collabs. Um, we're down actually in the World Languages wing right now. We're going to take a walk down there. This is probably a really interesting piece here to see too, where we had some walls blown out here. Much like what we, what we had happen up on the third floor down the business hallway where we have those two very large rooms that will be great flex spaces. We're not going to sign any teachers or any classes in there, but they will be free to check those, those areas out as, as needed, especially if they have some larger group projects or if they're combining some classes together. Here's the uh, new, it's going to be one of the new, the new collaboration labs. Um, on the back end of the, the room here, we're going to have additional storage. And that's the one thing, uh, one piece of feedback we have received from all the folks that we've talked to who've gone through construction projects or for new schools or renovations is you cannot have enough storage. And so we work really hard to ensure that not only in the classrooms, where they're going to have the, the proper uh, cabinetry casework uh, as well as additional nooks that will be formalized storage. Which, so what used to be the foreign language lab, the world language lab, that's now going to become two new classrooms. So you can see they're in the process of installing a new wall. Uh, there actually used to be a department office over in this area here the doorway was uh, down on the southern end of the room and there was all kinds of nooks and crannies back in this area it's pretty remarkable to see it completely opened up uh, this is really going to be very similar to what we have size wise up on the third floor in the business uh, classrooms the only difference in this part uh, of the, the wing, as opposed to the third floor, is that Mr. Lauer's classroom has the sliding glass dividers that will open his room up into one large room. We, we're not doing that down here. We actually need, needed two physical classrooms. Plus, from a cost standpoint, you know, we had to make some decisions, too, about uh, where we were going to use to put that kind of new furniture or those new furnishings in. So we're, we're coming back down to the World Language Lab, and I want to show is something that's really interesting. This is, uh, I'm actually standing right on the dividing line between the 1936 edition as well as in the 1963 edition. And this is one of the challenges that we, we discovered up on the third floor that we're going to, we had to, we had to address this. This is where the two wings came together. We've had issues over the years just with differences in construction and settling where we have cracks in the floor on the ceiling. So one of the things that we're going to put in here, the blue what it's called, is, is an expansion joint that will provide, uh, go, allow, it'll allow the give and take in the floor as well as along the walls that will prevent cracking in the future. But we've now just entered into one of the, uh, the world language classrooms. One of the nice features of this part of the renovation is as you can see here we've, we've blown out the walls that were the wall that was in the classroom here and overall the size of the rooms that the teachers are going to be returning to are significantly larger than what they had previously so this is the one nice thing by converting the world languages the computer lab into two nice sized classrooms it allowed us some flexibility to be able to make the other rooms here larger I think this will be a very well-received uh, feature when our staff members and our kids return to the fall. So we're heading down um, the social studies wing. Uh, our social studies folks are staying where they're at, but obviously they're coming back to a significantly upgraded facility. You know, when you look up on the, on the ceiling as well, it's Mr. Baker and I were just commenting about how amazing it is to see all this new infrastructure that's put in place uh, to, to make this building function as a 21st century facility. This is actually a good place to be right now because you can see the, the walls uh, have been uh, 
put up. They're still not in their final finished state yet. They've got to be get their final coat of paint. Lockers have now been put in at this point. Uh, we've got one of our new unisex bathrooms. We're going to have a unisex bathroom on, on each floor um, in the main building. The band and choir programs are going to have a significant amount of storage space down there. And those will be the last uh, stop on the tour here today. We're going to bring you up to the second floor, which is the new home for the band and choir programs. But we do want to give you a sneak peek to what the new classroom is going to look like. The area that we're walking into right now, this is actually used to be uh, a locker room. You can, you can remember that. In fact, quite honestly, I don't even remember this locker room being here when I was a student back in the 80s. Um, but they're putting the finishes on the floor. We got a little bit of paint going on. One of the things I like about this too is that we're still going to keep some of the original brick. Now this is from the now this is the, this is the 36 edition. So this is still brick that goes back to that era that will kind of make, be able to maintain that historical feature. One of the really cool features though, the showers in this locker room have a have a vaulted or barrel barrel vaulted ceiling. So our architects were able to preserve a, a portion of that. So you can still see a portion of that that, uh, that vault the ceiling. This is going to be a small study room, uh, whether it be for students before school. Teachers could be able to bring small groups of students in here. You'd be able to comfortably fit about the city six to seven people in here. It's going to be another nice new feature. I know our, our kids and our staff will, will make good use of it. So I'm standing in the main hallway right now, but because of drainage pipes that come down from the roof, we weren't able to make these three new classrooms very large rooms. The architects came with a wonderful design that we're going to have this alcove area that kids can flow through. They'll be able to access the rooms through this area. Mr. Woods has already put together some ideas for some nice display cases back here or some bulletin boards. We'll be able to you know, display a lot of the, the accomplishments of our, of our students. And so we're, we're looking forward to, to seeing what that's going to look like. In the uh, one of the new art rooms, we have two new art room facilities. You can see the new floor that was recently poured. One of the things we liked about this floor is, number one, it's got kind of a nice um, greenish tint to it, but when you get down and look closely at it, it's got red speckles in it as well. So it's kind of a nice way of pulling our school colors. This room here, this is going to be Mrs. Sarver's, one of her two classrooms. Uh, this is going to be a room that she's going to use for um, more, maybe more of the dry artwork, the drawing uh, type of uh, classes that we offer here. What's really nice about this particular room, if we kind of turn around here, is we are on the southern edge of the, of the, uh, the building, and so you're going to have this amazing view, great lighting here. And I think when the leaves start turning colors and the first snow falls, this is going to be a really inspirational room. So we're moving in between the two art facilities. This is going to be another one of the prep rooms. Uh, the kiln is going to be placed back here, and, and there's going to be a ton of storage uh, in this whole area here. This room here is going to house uh, the ceramics, ceramic wheels. We have six wheels uh, in here. The tables that we're going to be putting in here are really going to be sharp. They are butcher block, butcher block art tables. We're going to have uh, really nice short stools that are very comfortable to sit on. Um, it's going to be a really great space, a lot of inspiration for our our kids and quite frankly I have no doubt that our art enrollment is going to just blossom and skyrocket uh, through not only the facility but I know Mrs. Sarver has been rolling out some new courses for our facility as well.